Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. We did a live today and for some reason I kept, it was recording on my side, um, but apparently it didn't record all the signs. So here I am, it was brought to my attention, so we're gonna get into it. This is going to be for the last uh, zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Leo, and Virgo, which were the last ones that didn't show up on the live. I apologize for that, you guys. And of course, you guys already know, we never skip no signs. So here I am doing another video for you guys. If you guys um, are not aware, I'm doing more lives now. So I'm going to be more proactive here on my YouTube channel. I highly encourage you guys to follow me, like, share. So you guys also hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, we're going to do the readings for the last three signs. Because apparently uh, YouTube froze. Um, I was unaware of it until it was brought to my attention by some of my followers on Instagram. So here I am doing the remaining three. Okay, so we're going to do Cancer. We're going to do Leo and Virgo, which is the last three of the zodiac signs. Let's see what you can expect for the month of October 2024. This is going to be for Cancer. We're beginning here with Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2024. Spirit guides, ancestors, spirits of divination, please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly. Let's see what is unfolding for my Cancers out there. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2024. Let's see what's going on. One more shuffle. All right, here we go. If you guys are interested in any personal services, any spell work or personal readings, go ahead and click the link below on the description box. You'll be able to find all of our links on there. All right, my lovelies, let's get into it. Cancer, we're starting off here with the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Uh, Cancer, this is kind of seeming to give me the same theme of earlier when we did you the reading. Um, I see you guys cutting ties with people that are no longer putting effort or energy or are just coming around you to take from you. Whether this is effort, energy, money, whatever it is, there is a brewing and tranquility that you've been dealing with. Um, for some of you guys, this could be definitely connected to a romantic relationship or some type of partnership where you feel like you've been carrying this burden for a while. Uh, maybe putting a lot of effort, maybe trying to work something out and you feel like your partner is being emotionally blocked or emotionally unavailable. I see you guys stepping into the month of October with power. I see you guys being no longer hesitating who you need to cut out. And what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, you're cutting out specific people that have been either draining your energy, draining your finances, or draining your, your peace of mind. Um, you're being unapologetic about it, Cancer, and I feel like you guys are being pushed. You guys are being definitely almost like your guides are guiding you to be more methodical of the people that are around you because this has been or will be highly affecting you. Um, so again, I'm seeing you guys being no longer hesitating if you've been struggling with the relationship and that relationship has been unrequited or they haven't necessarily really put any effort whatsoever in the relationship. I see you realizing that and no longer being willing to continue sacrificing yourself or sacrificing your energy or giving. Um, I see you taking your power back and disconnecting from this uh for some of you guys it's r realizing that people have been taking advantage of you or have been taking you for granted and you're no longer going to be putting up with that for some of you cancers you're already experiencing this meaning you already feel like you're fed up and people are like constantly pushing you and ultimately what i see happening in october is i see you guys cutting losses when it comes to relationships partnerships friendships even with family dynamics where you feel like people have just been constantly and constantly taking you for granted 
It's like you're putting your foot down and you're no longer even giving people explanations. So you may find yourself in the month of October randomly, like someone triggers something in you where you just completely block them. You don't give them no explanation, no warning because you've been giving them warnings and they just haven't realized it. They thought you were always going to be there and that is no longer going to be the case. I see you guys really taking care of your emotional aspect as well as your mental aspect. So again, I highly encourage you guys, if you're feeling like in the month of October, you're being a little bit analytical, pay attention to pay attention to that because it's almost like your higher self is telling you um, that you need to realign your energy, that you need to be more careful of the people that you allow not only around you, but the people that you do for. It's about learning to receive. It's not always about giving cancer. You have to be willing to receive as well. And if they're not bringing anything to you and all they're doing is taking from you, I see you cutting them out completely. And this is as a defense mechanism. This is you being pushed or forced to take care of yourself and to nurture yourself. So highly encourage you guys this month of October, whenever you're feeling like, you are about to walk away from something or cut ties, don't hesitate about it because that is your higher self telling you they are just taking from you and you need to learn to make yourself a priority cancer. That's going to be very crucial for you guys for this month, okay? All right, my loves, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to... The month of October 2024. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's unfolding for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2024. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2024. Here we go. Leo, let's see what's going on with you guys for this month of October. Well, let's see what you guys can expect. For this month, we're starting off here with the Hanged Man, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Cups, the King of Wands, the Strength card. Oh, wow. The King of Pentacles. Okay. So I'm seeing you guys. I see you guys this going into this month of October with fresh new eyes. For some of you guys, there is some type of inspiration or some type of almost like revamping your energy, uh, Leo, seeing things from a different perspective, maybe in the past, and I want to say the past could, could be past four weeks, it could be past four months, you've been, it, it's almost like the universe has been bringing to you certain lessons, certain experiences where you feel a little bit frustrated or perhaps you feel like, oh, is this really what I want? Is this really what I you know, is this really, I see you guys almost experiencing certain aspects of your life uh, unfolding where you had some type of idea or some type of perspective in your mind of how you wanted things to unfold. And perhaps it's not ideal, or perhaps you're dealing with situations where it's making you question like I said, do I really want this? Is this something that I really want to do? Do I want to go down this path? Um, but I think that more than anything, what what Spirit is saying is that you need to learn to see things from a different perspective. You have the power, Leo, uh, to change certain circumstances and situations around you. Whether this is a family dynamic, whether this is friends, with, whether this is with a loved one, or whether it's your career and... Um, your workplace, the people that you're working with, are they frustrating you? Do you feel like you're being overlooked or are they overworking you? Or are they, you know, nitpicking at what you're doing? These are things that you can, you can change and you can transform if you know how to tap into your power, Leo. And what I mean by that is one of the concepts that a lot of, a lot of people have difficulty understanding is that you are the main character in your life, right? You are the director, you are the actor, you are everything. So what does this mean? This means, as an example, 
if in the workplace you're dealing with people that are just annoying or people that just, you know, take you for granted or whatever, stop focusing on the being taken for granted or being overlooked and start to direct how you want things to unfold. As an example, if you want to continue growing in the company that you work for or around the people that you work with, if you want a higher level position, start to put yourself mentally and emotionally in that state instead of looking towards what you don't have or what you don't like, um, you can change it. And it happens with the vibration or the shift in vibration that you start to vibrate to, meaning where, where attention goes, energy flows, right? So instead of looking at the things that are perhaps not ideal right now, start looking at the massive opportunity that you have to turn around the situation. And it starts with you knowing your power and standing on that power, standing in that power, I should say. Um, what I'm seeing is there is expansion and there is growth that is going to be unfolding for a lot of you guys, especially because we have two kings here. And kings are always a representation of masculine energy and it is action, okay? So with the fire and the king of pentacles here, earthbound, there is something that you're really focused or really passionate about in the month of October where you have your card here and this is you right at the center. So again, you're becoming much more empowered and standing in that power, you're able to direct, like I said, you're able to change certain aspects of your life where things are not going that great or maybe you've been experiencing a bit of challenges. First, start with the material aspect of it. What do I mean by this? Okay, be concise and be specific on the things that you want to change, that you do want to change. So an example, what's coming to mind here is people that you surround yourself with that perhaps don't fall into, you know, the energy or the experience that you want to experience. Raise your vibration to what you do want. And that way, the people that are low vibration or low frequency are going to, you know, start to pull away from you or start to literally get away from you because you're so focused and determined on the goals that you're trying to achieve, okay? This is with relationships as well, Leo. So what they're showing me here is there is a challenging aspect in your life right now where there's a little bit of imbalance, but they are telling you, you have to be concise and you have to be focused on what it is that you want. So let's start there, Leo. Be specific, be clear, be concise on what it is that you want. Moving forward, know that you stand in your power, know that you have the power to change these little obstacles that you're currently going through, but it starts with knowing your power, with standing in your power and being focused, really be focused and determined on what it is that you're trying to achieve for the month of October. And I'm not going to sugarcoat this. What I'm seeing with these two kings here and the strength card is that you're going to find new ways of making new money, Leo. And for others of you, there's going to be a, something that comes to you that may be connected to a passion or something that you really enjoy doing um, that you're going to tap into. And that can, that could potentially uh, bring to you a lot of avenues when we talk about abundance and when we talk about prosperity. So again, really listen to what is unfolding in your life right now, Leo. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to the things that have you a little bit you know, shall we say a little bit um, frustrated, you know, in regards to your life, whether it's your loved one, whether it's your career, whatever it is, and then be concise, acknowledge that, and then be concise about what you want to change, what you want to transform. Put your energy and focus towards that and watch how things start to magically open up for you, Leo, because again, King of, uh, King of Wands and King of Pentacles, masculine energy, it is about taking action towards your achievements, especially when we talk about finances and career and standing in your power, knowing you're worthy and deserving of it is going to make all the difference. But it starts with stop complaining so much and start to be more appreciative, start to 
implement in your everyday life, gratitude or being thankful. And it could be as simplistic as thanking for thanking the universe for the glass of water, glass of cold water that you're having. Start with little things like that and watch how things start to unfold for you. What they're showing me here with the hanged man and your card, the queen of wands, is that you need a new perspective. You need a new way of seeing things that no longer is going to make you feel boggled down. But if anything is going to empower you, it's going to give you that push and that passion that you are so naturally vibrating to Leo that you may feel maybe maybe you feel a little bit a little bit off. Maybe you feel a little bit uninspired, but that's going to quickly be changing. And I see these changes happening more so through the middle of October going into November. So pay attention to that. OK. All right, my loves. Moving on. Finally, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2024. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for them for the month of October 2024? Okay. Here we go, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with you guys and what changes you can expect for this month. All right, Virgo, we are starting off here with Temperance. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the World card, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups. Wow, the Six of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so what I'm being shown, Virgo, is that there is something that you've been working towards or that you've been hoping would transpire but there is a bit of there's a bit of resistance that you've been experiencing maybe you're feeling very anxious maybe you're feeling like the clock is ticking for some of you guys it could be a feeling of frustration because things are not moving as quickly as you would want however they are showing me here that there is information that will come will be coming through for you guys in the month of october that is going to ultimately lead you to the world card which is some type of wish fulfillment some type of elevation, some type of new beginning for a lot of you guys. You're ending a cycle and beginning something new. Now, with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups could potentially be in regards to love and romance. Virgo, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. With, uh, for others, could be an, another Earth sign like yourself, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. I see water energy here as well as Aquarius, Taurus, Leo energy. Um... But what I'm being shown here is there is a lot, there is a lot of aspirations that you have, Virgo, that you, it's almost like when things are going good for you, there is this feeling within you that you're waiting for the other shoe to drop or you start to do a lot of ne uh, negative self-talk to yourself. And with the seven of swords here i feel like what spirit is trying to communicate is you have to be open and willing to receive now what do i mean by this on a grander scale of things just giving you guys a generalization as an example if a committed relationship is something you've been looking for and you feel very impatient about because it just hasn't panned out or it hasn't unfolded for you it's time you start being honest with yourself, Virgo, and start asking those uncomfortable questions to get to the understanding or the better understanding of why you continuously keep repeating or experiencing a repeated cycle. And those uncomfortable questions is instead of looking outside of you, meaning why do they always leave me? Why doesn't it work out? Why... Um, do they not want commitment? Why? Whatever, right? Whatever it is that you keep telling yourself. It's time for you to go within and ask yourself, what is it about me that keeps attracting these types of energies? What is it about me? What is it that I believe about myself or that I do not believe about myself that doesn't lead me to my higher elevated commitment? Because, see, what they're showing me here is we have a tendency of looking outside of ourselves, right, when 
when it comes to the difficult questions, like I said, it's really hard for people to look at ourselves in the mirror and be completely honest, right? So what I'm seeing here is there's been a process. You've been going through a healing process, whether you're aware of it or not, Virgo, that you've been kind of the universe pushing you towards self-improvement and self-worthiness and growth. And only through this are we able to really release ourselves from self-mechanisms, from limiting beliefs, to finally be able to stand on our power and know that we are worthy and deserving, right? But before we get to that, we have to get to the bottom. We have to be honest with ourselves about love, about our connections, about our growth. So if it's career and finances and you almost seem to almost get it or almost get that position or almost get that pay, but it just feels like it slips out of your hands or whatever the case may be, ask yourself, what is it about you that in your mind on a subconscious level is pushing it away? It's not the universe. It's not that your manager overlooked you. It's not that you know, other people are doing better than you or that they work harder than you. It's none of that. It is about you. And it's time for you to look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what is it about me that feels like I am not worthy of this? What is it about me that doesn't understand that I was godly created? Therefore, God dwells within me. Therefore, you are God. So you decide what experiences you want to have. You decide what you get and what you don't get based on how you feel about that subject or how you feel about that circumstance or how you feel about relationships. So it's about going within. It's about finding and understanding your worthiness and understanding that, yes, you are deserving of it. Only through this work are you going to be able to experience the end all be all. But it starts with you. So my advice and the reason I'm saying this with the world and the Ace of Cups, I'm being shown that there is like a door opening, meaning there is a new beginning that is transpiring. For some of you guys, you're jumping timelines where you're going into a higher vibration. You're dealing with higher uh, people of higher vibration or people that have, you know, um, integrity that have, you know, goals and aspirations that want longevity. I'm seeing you guys go through that door, but you hesitate right at the, before crossing that door, you hesitate. So again, it, it's think of it this way. If you've been feeling for the past six months or eight months for some of you guys, that you're almost at the cusp of experiencing whatever it is that you're trying to manifest or whatever it is that you're really trying to work towards. It almost feels like as it gets closer, it gets further away. It is about you. You are the mirror. It is reflecting to you. There is something within you that you're not being honest about. And you're in order, we have to be honest about it in order to release that obstacle or that blockage on an emotional or mental level or spiritual level to be able to go through that door. So again, my advice is really think about what it is that you want, Virgo. If it's a situation with a relationship that you've been dealing with where you don't see that there is actual um, commitment or that it's going somewhere, be clear about it. State it. Say it out loud if it makes you feel better. Every day when you wake up, when you look at yourself in the mirror, my person, so-and-so, is no longer fearful. They are embracing the love that we have for each other. They know clearly and concisely that commitment is what they want, and we are taking it to the next level. Tell yourself that for the next coming seven days. You're going to see all the changes. Why? Because it starts with yourself and you need to believe it. And in order to believe it, sometimes we have to repeat it until we get to a point where we are energetically a match to what it is that we want. I assure you, Virgo, that if you do this, you're going to see massive transformation. You're already there, my love. You're already there. If there's a feeling within you of like, mm, not sure if you can trust people, not sure if you can, you know, what their intentions are, you know what it is? It's they are, ref they keep showing me a mirror. So it's like they are reflecting to you what you feel inside. 
I hope that makes sense. So for some of you guys, like, like an example, we're talking about relationships. If they keep giving you uh, off and on kind of vibes or if they're coming towards you and spending a lot of time with you and all of a sudden they start to pull away, whatever your experience is in this connection, they're only reflecting because they are mirroring your energy. So maybe in that process of when things are going good, you start to get scared, you start to question, you start to wonder, are they going to leave? For some of you guys, I'm hearing um, anxious attachment and anxious attachment is something of a shadow aspect that you need to work on. So whether it's, um, um, what is it called? Um, like being let go of, or there's a fear connected to that being left, um, whatever the situation, anxious attachment is a love language that's many experience after traumas in relationships where if they don't text you the way they normally do, your alarms start to go off. And it's not necessarily that they mean bad. It's just that sometimes life happens. But you have that anxious um, attachment because it's basically fear, fear of abandonment. So again, what they're saying here is you got to be honest with yourself. You got to do the work to be able to get through that door, to be able to experience because it's already there. And for others of you guys that are single, do the work. Because I see a connection coming in and here's the thing, this is something that I see all the time with clients. Sometimes you guys are in fact meant to be together, but sometimes one or the other is not necessarily ready or energetically aligned. And yes, sometimes we can mess up, we have free will, and because we weren't ready. So again, think of it this way, if they're showing me, they keep showing me a mirror, um, Maybe the reason why you've experienced certain scenarios or certain situations keep repeating when it comes to love and romance, or for some of you guys, it could be finances. For others of you, it could be relating to family member and friends around you. Um, they keep reflecting the energy that you feel within yourself. So the moment you start to panic, the moment you start to vibrate from a place of fear, they start mimicking you. So in essence, you're kind of making them push themselves away or pull away because you were already expecting that to unfold do you get what i'm saying so do the work virgo because i see you guys going into a new phase in your life a new cycle a new beginning and you do not want to continue experiencing the obstacles that you've been dealing with in the past all right my loves all right sweethearts i hope you guys enjoyed these readings like share and comment and i will see you guys soon till then bye